Hello dear hot hot friends, how are you doing today? I hope you are all having a great day. Today I am here with another great story. It's about a horse, a beautiful horse named Black Beauty. It's a beautiful name, don't you think? Well, before I start the story, I want to ask a few questions. Do you like animals? Do you like how horses particularly? Well, I know that you like animals and you treat them well because you know that they have feelings too. So you do, should never bother them. Let's talk no more and go straight to our story. <laughs> Once upon a time in a beautiful farm, there lived a little horse with his mother. The horse was so happy because the farm was so beautiful and the farmer was so good to them. The farm was full of pine trees and beautiful flowers. It had a field full of grass. The little horse would go out every day and play with his friends. One day, when he wanted to go out and play with his friends, his mother told him, Can you just stay for a minute? The horse was so surprised. His mother had never said such a thing before. So he stayed and then he started to listen to his mother. His mother said, Your friends are so good and I know that you want to go out and play with them. But first, you have to know that all of you need to learn manners. The horse said, what are you talking about? What is manners? She said, first of all, you should know that you should be kind in every situation, even if people treat you badly. And then you should know that you should do everything with goodwill and you should do everything with full of your heart. The horse said, okay, I will listen to you, mom. You see, it was a beautiful and good horse, so he would always listen to his mother's advice. Days passed and passed and passed until the little horse was four years old. Now he was big enough to pull carts and race in the racing. So one day, they decided to sell the horse. Black Beauty was so sad because he loved the farm and all of his friends were there. But at the same time, he knew that going to other farms will be like a new journey. He knew that he will learn a lot going there. So he went to another farm. He was so excited because the farm was too big and very beautiful. He saw that the grass there was so green and it was so delicious for him. Well, what do you think that will happen next? Stay with me and I'll be back after a short break. Welcome back! Now, if you remember, the black beauty was sent to another farm. The farm was so big and so beautiful and there were a lot of stables in there. The man managing the farm was named Joe and Joe was so good to the horses there. He would take them to racing and he would train them to be good horses for race. So every week he would take him out to teach him how to ride in a, in a race. Black Beauty was so happy 
and he knew that Joe liked him very much. Every day was the best day of his life. Until one night, when he was sleeping in his stable, he heard some noises. What was it? He woke up, but he couldn't hear anything. Suddenly, the door was opened, and Joe came in, and he was very nervous. Black Beauty could see it in his eyes. He took Black Beauty out and said that the lady in the house is sick and we have to go and find the doctor so soon unless she's not gonna make it. Black Beauty was so nervous. He didn't know what to do, but he knew that he had to run as fast as possible. So they ran and it was a cold winter night. Black Beauty ran as fast as possible. He was good at it because Joe trained him very well. That night, he took the doctor to the lady and the doctor could heal her. But Black Beauty got sick. Black Beauty couldn't even stand on his feet. Joe was so sad. And they took another doctor for him as well. Days passed and passed and Black Beauty got better and better. After some day, Black Beauty heard some other noises. What was it? He was curious. Joe came in. He was sad. Black Beauty wondered whether the lady was sick again. But then Joe came in and said, I'm sorry Black Beauty, but the lady wants to sell this farm. We have to sell you too. Black Beauty was so sad. He was getting used to the farm. But then everything had to change again. He thought to himself, maybe this time this journey will be better than the last time. So he was excited as well. It was time to go. Well, what do you think that will happen in the next journey? Just stay with me and I'll be back after a short break. <coughs> All right, my dear friends. Now, if you remember, Black Beauty was sent to another farm again. He was so excited because he knew that a new journey is ahead of him. But he didn't know what was waiting for him. The new master was so cruel and he would make horses do a lot of works. He didn't even give them enough time to rest. Black Beauty did not complain. He would pull the heavy carts every day. But he couldn't get so much rest. He was getting sick again and he was too weak and too thin. One day, the cruel master thought that there is no use in Black Beauty. So he wanted to sell him. And he did. He sold Black Beauty to another master. The other master was no good and he was as cruel as the other master. Black Beauty was so tired and he was getting sick every day. He was so worried what was happening to him. The next master sold him to another master and farm after farm Black Beauty moved. Black Beauty was getting weaker every day. The masters didn't treat him well. After a few weeks, Willie came to the farm. Black Beauty didn't know his name then, but when he saw the boy, he knew that he had a kind heart. Willie saw Black Beauty, and he was so sad to see a beautiful horse like that so weak. So he asked his grandfather to buy the horse. His grandfather said, but Willie, this is a very weak horse. Willie said, please do it for me. I think that this horse would be great. So the grandfather bought the horse. Black Beauty was so happy to go to another farm. He knew that this new master will be good. Joe took care of him just fine. And Black Beauty grew stronger and stronger every day. One day, his grandfather came in to stable and said, Good job, Willie. You did a really good job. 
I see that the horse is stronger than ever. Willie was so happy too. So his grandfather said, this horse should not stay in this little farm. We have to sell him to a beautiful big farm. I know that the masters will be so good there. Willie was so sad, but he knew that he has to send Black Beauty to a better farm. Black Beauty knew that Willie would not send him to a bad farm, so he was happy. He was on the cart going to the farm. Suddenly, he saw a familiar scene. It was the first farm that he grew up in. He was so happy because he knew that the masters are great there. And it was a farm that he knew everyone there. All of his friends were there and all of the memories with his mother. You see, Black Beauty did everything good. He did everything with good intention, even though he had bad masters. And at the end, he got his reward. Now, did you like the story? I hope so. I enjoyed it very much. But we're not finished here. So I'll be back after a short break with the morals of the story. Welcome back! In this story, there were three important lessons. Now let's see, where were they? First, we have to be kind in every situation, even if people treat us badly. You should know that the, at the end of the day, only kind people will win. Next one was to do everything with good heart and good intention. You must know that if we do things carelessly and with not good heart, it will never pay off and the results will not be good. But if you do things in a good way and with good intentions, everything will be great at the end. And you will see how great everything will turn out. The third lesson is about animals. I know that animals don't talk and don't act like human beings, but you should know that they have feelings too. So we should never bother them with anything. We should never yell at them or bother them. We have to provide them with good food and good place to rest. Now, do you have any animals at your house? I'm sure that you, if you have any, you treat them very well. In Islam, it's highly recommended not to bother anything alive, whether it's an animal or trees or anything else. We have to be kind at all of the time. I know that you, you my friends, are very kind and you never bother anything. Well. If you want to contact us, you can go to hothotenglish.tv And if you want to see our pages in Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, Instagram and YouTube, you can find us at Hot Hot English TV. I will miss you very much, but I know that I will see you at this time tomorrow. So don't forget to tune in. So long, my friends. Oh, my God.